Alrighty, so we are back in my garage today looking at a four-piece T-rail. Um, but something's a little bit different about it because we have the carriage from the Rainer 270-7 on here. The opener I have on the rail is not the Rainer 270-7. It's this. The Automatic Doorman 455. So, long story short, um, somebody asked me to put this on the small door and I figured well before I do that I'll put it on a rail and see if I can get it to run well on a rail because if I can make it work on a on a rail the if I can make it work on a rail it'll work on the door so uh, I haven't shown this opener for quite a long time actually I think I only have one other video from when I first got it so um, yeah first time really seeing this machine for a while uh, this one was an eBay find from a couple years ago so basically uh, i guess i'll just kind of go over so this like i said is a sectional four-piece t-rail this is the original rail to my 7220 uh, it has gotten it's been just sitting i haven't used this rail for i don't know at least like two years or the full rail at least i use this uh i use this section a lot for the mini door but these other three don't really ever get used just been sitting but you can see kind of just how rusty some of these bits and pieces are but uh it still works so um one thing you can see here this is a little strange it just kind of clips in here i just have it the cable focus come on i have the cable just kind of sitting in there um i don't know i mean it works all right this way um might just need to Sorry, I don't know why this won't focus. It might just need to... I might need to come up with something a little better than this when I install it, because I feel like this might not stay up, but... Stay in. Sorry, but I don't know. But this chain, half chain, half cable, is just a standard Chamberlain one. Uh, this is one... I don't remember what this chain's off of. I think it might have just been one that I pulled just because I needed one. Um, so... I did need to drill holes in the or a hole up in the front here to get this to work uh the other thing i had to do is i had to cut there's this little bracket down there i don't know if you can see well you can kind of see how it's rough on the edge i had to cut that because otherwise you can see just how close the rail is to that otherwise the rail would run into it um there's another piece fell somewhere oh it's on the floor here so this is part of the chain spreader piece. It goes between those two metal plates, but again, if this was on there, it would run into the rail. So I replaced that. I have three washers in there instead to space it out. Those washers are smaller, so it, you know, the rail won't bump into it. So, and that does work. And then there's the sprocket there. This one does spin the opposite way of a uh, LiftMaster, which is why I'm using this trolley, and then I did have to flip these bolts around on the rail. Um, yeah, so it does work well. Thermal light delay in this machine works. Um, the limits were fairly easy to adjust on this opener. Um, easier than they are in the old Sears machines. Um, and then we've got the original light lens, nice and white. And uh, so, okay, here's the other thing. I have this Multicode 1090 receiver on the back and I think this receiver is bad because when I this is the a just a 3089 that is programmed when I push this button the receiver clicks I don't know if you can hear it or not but the receiver clicks but nothing runs so I think this receiver is bad because I have used this receiver on this opener before and it's worked perfectly fine. So I'm going to have to get a new one of these or I don't know if they have a warranty for these. I think this receiver is like, well, it's like three years old though. So I don't know, maybe not. I kind of feel like not. Um, and then up top here, you've got your force switch. There's just a down force on this, no up force. Um, this kind of gets stuck. You can kind of see how it scrapes like this. This piece really gets kind of stuck on here for the force so this doesn't twist very easily um, and then you can see the force which is wired directly into the uh, push button terminals so 
Um, I just have this more Matic button hooked up. So we'll go ahead and run this machine here as soon as this car goes by. Here we go. Here goes the thermal light delay. Chain does pop a little bit, but I'm not really too concerned about it. It seems like it's fine to me. Um, yeah, so it does work pretty well. And uh, hold up. I don't know. I, I did plug this in to test it before I brought it down just to make sure it was in the right on the right limit and stuff. And it did the thermal light delay did smoke, but again, I haven't run this opener for probably like a year and a half. So yeah. Um, all right, we'll run it down. Instant reverse, by the way. All right, so let's run this down. Yeah, so it works pretty well, actually. Um, so this one will be able to go on the small door. Um, kind of ticked off that this receiver died because yeah I don't know what's wrong with it it's strange well uh, I guess I'm gonna have to get a new one or I could probably find one from an old opener at work so All right, let's run this one more time and then that'll be it And I don't think, I've never seen another one of these openers where I live. I live in Minnesota. I've never seen another one of these here. I would honestly be surprised if I ever got the correct rail for this opener. Honestly, I don't think I ever will. Unfortunate because I don't especially like putting sectional T rails together, but I mean, whatever. I needed something to do today, so. Um, you can kind of see maybe inside the opener actually if i take this light cover off you can maybe see some of the internals through this little hole there's a light lens got my white led in there um let's see those are the travel limits in there let's see if i can get it to focus on it maybe Kind of. And then... Oh, hold on. That's the thermal light delay right there. Hold on, maybe if I turn on the light. And you can kind of see the limits in there. So I'll see if I can get it to focus. Oh, there we go. Oh, I just about had it. Oh, I'll run it down for you, though. Uh, where'd the button go? Here it is. I'll run it down for you like this and I'll uh, show you the limits in there. There we go. Let's focus on it now. Here we go. Yeah, so I guess really that's it. That's the automatic doorman. Come on. Seriously? There we go. So there's the automatic doorman. Uh, sorry for a longer video, but that's about it. So thanks for watching, and we'll see y'all later.